If you are ready to take your backyard decor up a notch on an extreme budget, I am here for you today. We're not only talking about decor that you could use during the daytime, but also beautiful lighting for the evening. So let's get started. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. Each of the projects in today's episode easily transform from daytime decor to beautiful, stunning nighttime decor. And we're gonna start off with this giant wreath by using a pool noodle that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I carefully removed that plastic wrap from the outside of the wreath and then emptied the beads inside. Now where you see the seam of the hula hoop, I'm gonna apply a portion of pool noodle. Pool noodle is going to become the floral base for everything that we're gonna use to decorate this hula hoop. So we're gonna add just a little bit of glue gun inside both ends to reinforce it. Next, I'm making two giant bows from contrasting colored ribbons. Now you can use any color theme that works for you in your outdoor decor. This project was for my son's wedding rehearsal dinner and you will see more of that later on in this video. Since these will be outside in the elements, I'm going to attach everything firmly with a clear zip tie. And then I'm going to run those extra long tails of the ribbons up the sides of that hula hoop and glue them in place with glue gun. For the finishing touch, I'll be adding some greenery and then some florals I purchased at Dollar Tree and also at Walmart. Now, like I said, you can use any color scheme you like. This could be for an entertaining event that you have at your home, or it could just simply go with your outdoor decor. This wreath really adds extra interest at night if you place some twinkle lights inside and turn them on as the sun goes down. My husband and I installed this panel from the feed store over our garden. Now this was a climbing trellis for beans last year. Unfortunately, the bugs got my beans this year and so it's looking a little bit bare until my cucumber fills in and it will do that in a couple months. But until that happens, I wanted to add a focal point by installing some solar twinkle lights. These lights were gifted to me to try and I was really happy with them. They work for up to 18 hours once you have charged them for six hours. And they're also waterproof. So when our plants are watered by the sprinkling system or it rains, there are no worries. I am gonna give you a 15% coupon code uh, linked in my description box and that will bring the price for this unit down to about $17 plus tax. So. I think it's really reasonable and affordable. You wait and see the result and tell me what you think. Another really thoughtful feature is the stand that allows you to place that solar panel out of sight and it has a very long lead line. So before the lights start, you can lead that solar panel wherever you like. And the sky is the limit with these. I love these kinds of twinkle lights around the holidays, but truth be told, I love twinkle lights all year long. And especially for backyard entertaining, I think lighting just makes a total difference. Since I had a few extra twinkle lights at the end, I decided to create a glowing orb by zip tying two of the Dollar Tree wire baskets together and then attaching them to a shepherd's hook. Now, once I wrap the twinkle lights around this orb, it's going to add just a little bit more interest. And I think this is a great idea, especially for the holidays. If you go ahead and buy up a bunch of these baskets now and create these to hang from your trees or wherever you would like a little bit of an extra zhuzh. So you can see I am attaching that stake hidden behind my plants. It's going to get plenty of sun there. And in about a month's time, all this foliage will have grown up and covered the wires. You really can't see them now, but in about a month, it's going to be really breathtaking. This is what it looks like from our back patio during the daytime and look out because here's what it looks like at night. I could not be happier. I am showing you all the settings 
Obviously, you don't have to use those, but I wanted you to see the variety that these string lights offer. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the pulsating setting that I really prefer. We love sitting out on our back porch in the evening and just talking about the day, and I can't wait to watch these lights as we do that. But even better, it's going to be so much fun when we have company over to go ahead and have these on and just surprise everyone. Going to make a garden planter out of a trash can. This was a trash can purchase from Ikea and I rescued this one from the curb and all I'm gonna do is tape off with painters tape where those ridges were already formed on the trash can. If you've been watching Skip to My Life this summer you know that I'm really into the black and white aesthetic for my deck decor this year and so this little planter is going to get a nice redo with some crisp black and white stripes last we're just going to drill some holes in the bottom of this trash can it's so important to have drainage whenever you are planting something for our third project, we'll magically remake this tired three-tier planter from Dollar Tree by first spray painting the whole thing black. If you have one of these planters and you want to conserve soil, simply place a used planting pot or solo cup in the middle of each of those tiers. Now, I learned this trick from Skinny Boy Randy's YouTube channel. Dollar Tree has been carrying some really adorable wreath forms and one of them is this bicycle spoke shaped wreath form. I wanted to add something to make this look a little bit more like a bike wheel. So I had a choice between a black pool noodle and my husband had purchased this plumbing form it i don't really know the exact name of it but it is split down the middle it's a little bit smaller in diameter than a pool noodle and it's also a bit longer now it costs a dollar 99 and he purchased that at lowe's and so i decided to give it a try and it was exactly what i was looking for now if you wanted to use a pool noodle you could certainly duplicate this look by just putting a little slit down the middle but i did like the fact that this plumbing noodle was a bit smaller in diameter and I thought the proportions looked a bit more realistic to a bike tire. Once I had spray painted that wreath form white and stretched the foam around the edges of the wreath form, I did put it in place with a large rubber band and let it sit for a few hours just to take that shape. Afterward, I secured it tightly with some zip ties. If you're enjoying this video, please let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed to Skip to My Life, it's completely free. And I would love to have you join our community. Next, we're going to make a scrappy bow with some of my scraps of ribbon that I had left over from Valentine's Day. I am going to include in my description box a bow tutorial that will show you exactly how I made this bow along with several other bow ideas, but it's a very, very simple bow. And for this wreath, it looks perfect. These DIYs are great ideas if you've put off your patriotic decorating to the last minute or you're just running out of time. None of these takes very long, nor are they very expensive. 
Next, I'm adding some floral foam to that area that is uncovered by the pool noodle. Now, if I had had a bit sturdier floral foam, I would have used that, but this is what I had on hand. And I did attach it with a wire to that metal wreath form. If you've worked with the pool noodle type material, you know that hot glue will generally just melt it. So for that reason, I was really interested in using zip ties as much as possible on this project. Now for the really fun part, we're gonna add some red, white, and blue silk flowers from Dollar Tree. This is a smaller wreath, so it really doesn't take much to fill in the floral portion. I started with some silk ferns that I already had on hand and then added the flowers until I was happy with the way that it looked. These bicycle wreaths are so popular for summer, and if you look online, you will notice they are selling for upwards of $30 to $50, so we really did create something here that was quite money-saving and also, I think, really quick and easy to make. For the finishing touch, I took some of the scatter from Dollar Tree. They usually carry this around 4th of July, and I glue gunned one of those adorable little sparkly stars in the center of the scrappy bone. I have been pricing the beautiful patriotic buntings for several years and I knew that we could recreate them for pennies on the dollar. So I started with some red, white, and blue Dollar Tree oblong plastic tablecloths. We are going to be cutting each tablecloth into four equal strips. The easiest way to do this, once you take that tablecloth out of the package, is just to cut the ends off in as straight a line as possible with some sharp scissors. If you're getting some inspiration from this video, I would love to know by having you click the like thumbs up button and also subscribe to Skip to My Life. For the next step, we'll simply tape the red, white, and blue strips together using clear packaging tape. I do recommend that you have a large area to spread out and lay these next to each other. It's a lot simpler that way. And also at this point, you're going to need to decide, do you want the blue section at the top or do you want the red section at the top? In my research, I saw both. If you like the look of this bunting flat, then you can stop here. But if you want more of a gathered classic look, you'll want to follow this next step. So I measured in about 36 inches from the edge. I started gathering at that 36 inch point and then my goal was to make it to the tip of that bottom edge. Now once I had gathered this portion up very carefully, I tied it tightly with a clear zip tie. You will see that when it hangs, it does form that more classic bunting shape. For just about $5, you cannot beat this for value and simplicity for an ultra simple DIY patriotic project. Next, I'm using this table scatter, which I purchased at Walmart for 98 cents. There are 12 pieces with three different patterns of stars, and I'll be using just a very tiny amount of hot glue on the back of each one and centering them on that white portion. Now, please be careful because if you use too much hot glue, it's going to go right through that plastic. So I wanted it to adhere very firmly, but I didn't want to put a hole in my plastic, so that was a little bit of a trick. For the finishing touch, I made scrunchy bows from this red sparkly tool from Dollar Tree, and I simply attached those to a red pipe cleaner. You can see how I'm gathering that with my fingers. Very, very simple bow, but it was just what I needed to set off the bunting.
The question of the day is what will you be doing for your patriotic holidays? We will be having some family members over. I'm planning to make some shish kebabs and pork chops and just have a great time in the backyard. So this bunting is really going to add a lot to our celebration. I was so happy with the way that it turned out. To attach this bunting to my fence, I just used some clear thumbtacks and that was all it took. For this next project, we're going to be making some lanterns using two liter water bottles. Now, this is a great project if you want a large quantity of lanterns, but you just don't wanna spend a whole lot of money. All you'll need is to cut out a section of that lantern, cut off the bottom, and then as you will see, I'm going to glue some plastic plates to make a base, and then a plastic bowl for the top. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to let me know by clicking the like button. I would love to have you join the Skip to My Life community by clicking that subscribe button. My husband helped me with this project, which made it even more fun. He cut out all the pieces and I assembled them and then spray painted them once they were all ready to go. We ended up with about 24 lanterns, to be honest with you. I lost count, but we did recycle many different water bottles, soda bottles, and it was a lot of fun. To add a look of uniformity to all these different sizes, I glue gunned a plastic shower curtain ring to the top as a handle. I also spray painted all of them a satin black and then went over them with just a little bit of white spray paint to make it look aged and galvanized. I wanted to add that accent color of gold, so I just sprinkled a little bit of very fine gold glitter over the top of each lantern when it was still wet with paint. You could certainly stop with that step, but I wanted to add a little whimsical accent. So I did glue gun some greenery to the top. Then I made what I call a figure eight bow from the jute twine. Now, if you're curious how to do this bow, just go ahead and watch the bow tutorial video in my description box and it will walk you through. For our next project, we're going to create some table centerpieces. Now, the first thing I'll be using is one of those religious candles from Dollar Tree, along with some regular school glue, some fine gold glitter that I purchased at Walmart, and some greenery and florals. Those are all from Dollar Tree. And the last item is some of the thick jute rope from Dollar Tree. To start, I'm painting school glue directly about halfway up that candle. I didn't even stop to remove the label because you won't be seeing it. It will be hidden underneath. Next, we'll be pouring that fine gold glitter from oblong container back and forth over the candle until I get the best coverage that I can. I wanna tell you a funny story about this glitter. I've never used so much of this extremely fine glitter, and I will tell you, it got everywhere. It was on my dog, it was on my couch, it was in my hair, it was even in my car. So. My husband was very long suffering about this project, but I think he was happy once this part was over. 
you'll want to let that base coat of glitter dry overnight and then go back in with some watered down glue to fill in any portions that didn't get as much coverage of glitter. Now you could skip this step, but I find that adding that second layer of glitter makes all the difference and really taking this project up a notch. Once your glitter is completely dry, take some hairspray and spray it thoroughly all over that taper. Now, since this is something you're going to be introducing fire to and fire and hairspray don't really go well together, I encourage you to wipe down the glass portion that's still exposed. And then you'll also see later that I took these candles outside and let them thoroughly get air before I lit them. Now we're going back in with glue gun and gluing on that rope, as well as the greenery and the flowers. This color scheme could be easily adapted for a patriotic themed party this summer, or for some kind of a shower, a housewarming, a graduation party, the sky's the limit. But I just really enjoyed taking the rustic theme of the black and white check up a notch with a little touch of gold. In the end, I created 12 of these candles. And if you watch all the way to the end of the video, you'll see how I use them in the centerpieces. For the second part of the centerpiece, I'm simply using a glass candlestick from Dollar Tree, which I painted white with chalk paint and then covered with the gold glitter. Now I glued on top of that candlestick a cylinder glass vase from Dollar Tree and then simply added similar embellishments to the first candle that I created. If you're interested in purchasing bulk quantities of some of these Dollar Tree items, the easiest way I've found to do that is to order online and have the items delivered to your local store free of shipping charge. My husband and I just did that and I'll be featuring some of those items in upcoming videos, but I've also provided a link to the Dollar Tree website in my description box. If you're new to Skip To My Life, I am so glad you joined us today. And if you're coming back, you know our story. My husband and I recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage after our kids were grown and flown. As you will see in the big reveal at the end of the video, we have planned a buffet line. So I created two of these cylinder candle style centerpieces to be on either side. For the third element of this centerpiece, I simply took a black candle stand that I purchased at Dollar Tree and applied some E6000 glue to those edges where it would meet the candle. Now, a lot of the glass candle holders I'm using here are just used containers that I've saved from candles that I have burnt down over the year. want even more inspiration for five dollar and under outdoor decor for your home you'll want to click on the next video i'm providing and until we see each other next time my friend don't forget today is not the end of your story no matter what is happening in your life don't you give up until next time this is shannon from skip to my life